Hello viewers, welcome to the CAP RMF training. If you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe as we proceed with today's topic. We'll continue with the NIST 853 control family series. And today, we'll be looking at awareness and training. The objective of awareness and training is to ensure that managers and users of organizational information systems are made aware of the security risks associated with their activities. It also ensures that organizational personnel are adequately trained to carry out their assigned information security related duties and responsibilities. We'll be looking at some of the controls that falls under the awareness and training control family. I'll be looking at AT2. Now, AT2 is security awareness training. Now, AT2 you know, focuses on ensuring or requires that organization provides basic security awareness, awareness and training to information system users. And this includes the managers, the senior executives, and the contractors. It is also used as part of the initial training for new users. It is used when required by information system changes and annually if there are major changes thereafter. Now, what are some of the evidence that we can request for to satisfy the implementation of AT2 control? We can request for the security awareness policies and procedure. We can request for the security awareness training record. We can request for certificates of completion for each user that, that took the training. Now, we're we'll looking at another control, which is AT2 subset 2, which talks about security awareness insider threats. Now, the goal of this control, this control ensures that organization includes security awareness and training on recognizing and reporting potential indicators of insider threats. Now, what are some of the evidence that we can request for to satisfy the implementation of AT2 subset 2 control? We can request for copy of insider threats briefing PowerPoint. We can request for certificate of insider threats training completion. We can also request for user attestation for reading the insider threats briefing. Now, we're looking at another control family, which talks about AT3. AT3 talks about role-based security training. Role-based security training. Now, AT3 ensures that organization provides role-based security training to personnel with assigned security roles and responsibilities. It ensures this training should be provided before authorizing access to information system you know or performing assigned duties this training should be provided annually or when required by the information system changes now what are some of the evidence that we can request for to satisfy the implementation the implementation of at3 control we can request for an annual role-based training certificate or, or record completed for system administrators and personnel with assigned roles and responsibilities or duties. Please note, some of these controls, you know, or some of the um, evidence that you may request for, for the controls that I've, you know, are discussed today, you know, is subject to increase based on your organization, based on your organizational settings, based on your organizational policy. I hope this video has been helpful. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.